Okay, YouTube, I'm here to explain how to use your DJI uh, drone for photogrammetry, which is basically aerial surveying and mapping. So what first you're going to do is you're going to go into your F-channel setup, and you're going to set that uh, your initial F-channel to minus 1000. Uh, that just keeps the shutter from getting triggered prematurely. Then you're going to go into your photogrammetry tool, and you're going to configure the shooting action. Uh, natural server position is of course minus 1000 on F1. You want to change your action step to 1000, that means it will trigger it. Uh, press the trigger button just to make sure it actually fires your camera. You want to have your drone connected to the, the ground station software at this point in time. Uh, usually a, a trigger time of 0.5 seconds is enough. Sometimes cameras need one second, but I find 0.5 is better because it allows for uh, quicker photos. You want to set your uh, focal length at uh, whatever your lens is and then your sensor height and sensor width. I've already got mine set up in there. It's for a micro four thirds camera. You want to set your flight elevation at uh, whatever you're going to be flying. I recommend 75 meters. If you're in Canada it is illegal to go above 90 meters so keep that in mind. You want to set your horizontal or sorry your height overlap at 80 percent and your width overlap at 50, or 50 to 66 percent. If you can get more overlap the better. You're then going to want to draw a polygon or a rectangle around where you want to scan and you're going to hit preview that'll generate some waypoints so i'll kind of show you those waypoints there <clears throat> and then you're going to want to hit generate well first you want to set those uh, horizontal speeds at five to ten meters per second and vertical speed at 1.5 meters per second is fine so anyways you click generate and it'll generate a mission uh, for your mission plan. You can see all the waypoints on the right hand side there. So you want to go through them, see what all their different settings are. It'll show you there's altitude, 75 meters, forward flight speed, 7 meters per second, heading degree, 360. Uh, if you need to edit any of those, this is the time to do it. Of course, you'll have already done one of these missions before autonomously before you get into photogrammetry. I would, I would hope and assume. Uh, adaptive bank and turret is always the best. It uh, takes the less, least amount of time to get through your mission, which is always important for flight time. I'm just moving that first waypoint right above where, uh, where the drone is located. Uh, so when I take off and start the mission, it's, it's already at its uh, first waypoint. And you're going to want to save that mission. And you're going to upload that mission to the drone. Uh, of course, my drone wasn't in GPS mode, so when I flip it to GPS mode here, it'll move over and you'll see that that message, will, the red message there, will go away. Alright, so now the mission is up. You can see the red go button there. That means that the mission is uploaded to the drone and it's ready to go. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take off and uh, just try and get it up to a safe elevation. I don't want to hit any trees. You can see the drone powering up there in the, the bottom left corner. Once you get it up to a safe elevation here, 30, 35 meters is, is plenty enough. Um, reason being is that the, the trees in this area are only about 15 meters high. There is a power line that uh, goes up to about 20 meters. So once we're above 35 meters, we're, we're in the clear. Um, you're going to have to take a look around, make sure that you're not going to be interfering with anything because keep in mind between those waypoints, it follows a, uh, a gradual uh, elevation change. It doesn't just shoot up to 75 meters. It will go slowly from 35 meters up to 75 meters throughout his mission. So now we've sent the mission on its, on, uh, on its, we've sent the mission, it's uh, going right now. You can see on the DJI software, you can track where the drone is as it flies along. And it'll continue on its mission. Of course, the first waypoint I've set it up to be slower just so it can get up to its, its proper altitude. And then once it takes off on its, uh, the rest of his flight line. You'll see it'll go much, much quicker. Yeah, I'll see this one. It'll zoom past us here. Oh, maybe I canceled the 
the screen before that. And then, uh, once you got your drone down, you're going to want to download those photos. Um, you're going to want to synchronize them if you need to with the uh, GPS from your photogrammetry tool. And then you're going to import them into a software, a piece of software called Agisoft PhotoScan or Pix4D, uh, whatever your uh, photogrammetry tool of choice is. That's what you're going to want to import them into. I use Agisoft PhotoScan. I find it's uh, a very powerful tool for what I need to do. You can see the uh, photos have been aligned already, and I'll show you a few images of you know the, the steps along the way, so you can see the final results. This has been a very, very preliminary introduction to photogrammetry with DJI drones. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, leave a comment. Uh, I'll do a more in-depth one if people are interested. I'm just feeling it out right now. Thank you very much for listening and subscribe, subscribe to our channel and visit us for any uh, DJI drones or accessories you'd like to purchase. Thank you.